No matter how gifted you are, you don't have all of the gifts. Believe it or not, your life is poorer because you are in this comfort zone and your comfort zone is killing you. Don't you know that in business and in life, you ought to step outside of that box unless you're ready to be buried in that box. I'm trying to help you this morning. I don't need you to duplicate me. I can be me all by myself. I'm real good at being me. I've been me a mighty long time. And I don't need you to compliment, I don't need you to duplicate me. I need you to compliment me. I need some folk who are smarter than me. I need some folk who have some stuff I don't have. Every now and then, I need to be around some folk who leave me feeling intimidated. That's right. Because when you feel a little bit intimidated, guess what? You're getting ready to grow. You're getting ready to get better. You're getting ready to get out of your comfort zone. You need to learn the power of strategic partnership. Look at this savvy and sophisticated system. She's following the instructions of the prophet. She goes and she borrows her neighbor's vessels. I see her little children go and say, Mama said, loan me a cup. The neighbor said, you mean a cup of sugar? She said, no, keep the sugar. We just want the cup because we're getting ready to taste and see that the Lord is good, that the Lord is even better than sugar. And so she gets all of these vessels in the house. Can you see how messy her kitchen must have been? All kinds of vessels, various shapes, sizes, and colors. All kinds of vessels, some old and some new. God uses all kinds of vessels, tall vessels and short vessels, black vessels and white vessels vessels, skinny vessels and fat vessels, rectangular vessels and round vessels, and a few cracked pots. Because it takes all kinds, and God can use all kinds of vessels. Yes, every now and then he even uses a few cracked pots. And what I like about this woman is that she doesn't worry about the makeup of the vessel. She doesn't ask what's the history of the vessel. She doesn't ask how was that vessel used last week or the week before. She said, I don't care how they used it last week. I know how I'm going to use it today. She says, my job is not to examine the vessel. My job is to keep on pouring oil. Have mercy, Jesus. And, and, and it's, it's about time, it's about time for God's people to figure out that God uses all kinds. And when God sends vessels to this church, it's not your job to ask what's the history of the vessel? What does the vessel look like? It's not your job to look the vessel up and down. It's not your job to size the vessel up. I don't care who comes through those doors. My job is to keep pouring oil. Have mercy, Jesus. My job is to allow the anointing to flow. My job is to be an instrument of his glory. My job is to speak truth to power. And I don't care where you've been. I don't care who you are. I don't care what you did, even if you did it last night. If you show up in this place, I'm going to keep pouring all until your cup runs over. I'm going to keep pouring all until you're set free. I'm going to keep pouring all till sinners are saved, until backsliders are brought. Keep pouring oil. Have mercy, Jesus. 